Hello guys, thanks for tuning into my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, for today's review, I've got another beer that I picked up off of Beers of Europe, but you can get this in uh, Waitrose for cheap, I've since found out. Um, I paid £3.29 for this, but in Waitrose it's only 2 25 It is a bottle of uh, Fuller's 1845 Bottle Conditioned Strong English Owl. Which I've never tried before and um, quite like Fuller's beer, so I'm looking forward to trying it, especially being as it's bottle conditioned. It says brewed beside the Thames since 1845, although they've been making this particular beer since 1995, I believe. It's 6.3% ABV, that's quite a strong one. 500ml bottle, this one, and uh, oh, it says here first barreled in 1995 to celebrate our 150th anniversary. So there you go. Got Goldings hops. Well, let's uh, crack her open and get on with it. See what it's all about. Quite dear though, the price of this on beers of Europe, isn't it? Um, they're definitely not the cheapest, but they do have a great selection. That's what I'll say about them. All right, let's uh, chuck her in the glass. Um, this has been uh, suggested by a few people, actually, to review this. And I just couldn't see it anywhere. I don't have a Waitrose near me. And I just haven't seen it and I really want to try it. So I didn't mind paying a bit of extra money because you know, I just, just want to try it. You know, sometimes you just don't care, do you? Um, bottle conditioned, uh, matured to perfection for 100 days, it says. Right, there you go. There she is in the glass. It's looking kind of like a mahogany sort of colour to me. You can see a little hint of red in there. Off white head. Looks like a very nice owl, doesn't it? Does look very nice, uh, very compact bubbles. Does look rather delicious. Let's get the nose out in there and check out the aroma of this 1845 Fuller's beer. It smells very rich. Hmm, quite complex flavor uh, aromas. Again, like a thing is like a toffee malt. Kind of like a, a fruit cake sort of thing going on. Bit of orange peel. That smell very rich. Bit of, bit of like a treacly sort of smell to it. Smells a little bit sweet though, which could be an issue for me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but there's only one way I'm gonna find out whether that's an issue. And that's by chucking it down my big fat neck. So without further ado, cheers everybody. Bosh. Let's get it down there. Oh, tons of flavour straight away, first impressions. Fantastic mouthfeel, super smooth, like, it tastes, it tastes like you're drinking it on tap. It's so smooth and silky, almost like creamy sort of mouthfeel to it. Very, very nice. Um, it is super rich though. That could become an issue for me personally, but I can tell this is a fantastic beer. It's just don't know if it's for my taste buds. I'm going to keep going. In a minute, I'm all right. But, um, yeah, it's very, very rich. Um, that's the first impressions. But, but very nice at the same time as well. It just depends what you like, you know. Um, could rich beers sometimes get a bit much for me after a while. Let's go in again. It taste is very similar to the nose to me. It's a bit more like a Christmas cake, it's like a Christmas cake in a glass, it's like treacle in there. You are picking up a hint of that alcohol at 6.3%, it's not particularly well hidden. Um, getting like a sort of toffee type malt in the background, a citrusy a bit of orange peel. Definitely like a treacle and dark fruit sort of mix in here as well. Really com complex. I mean, sort of beer where I think different people trying it are going to pick up different flavours, you know, because there is a lot going on. Um, I'm just letting you know what it tastes like for me, you know. Uh, it's, although it is very rich, well, when I had that first mouthful, I thought, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this. Uh, it's not building. That richness isn't building. 
if you know what I mean. It's sort of staying the same so far. So I might be all right. I was worried it was just gonna keep getting richer the more of it I had. But it's not really doing that so far. Let's go in there, let's have a big guzzle and see if it does anything. Yeah, it's actually not. It's not it's not becoming too rich, although it is rich, but some some beers, what I'm trying to say is some beers are they're rich and they just get richer and richer the more of them you drink. And by the end of the glass, you're like, I've got to move on to something else, that's becoming too much. Where this, although it's very rich, it doesn't keep becoming more richer, it just sort of stays consistent, which is a good thing for me. It is a little sweet for my taste as well, but it's not overly sweet. I've had much sweeter. Um, got a nice dryness towards the end, really nice drying uh, finish with like a decent bitterness as well. It sort of just lingers along and uh, just leaves you salivating to go in there and have another go. It, it does have a lovely finish on it. It just lingers just enough to make you want to go in there again. Uh, but not it's not a horrible linger, you know, which you can't just get rid of. It's a nice linger, that, that say, Moorish kind of linger to it. It's a fantastic beer. It really does taste like a draft, um, a draft owl. The bottle conditioning has really worked wonders on this one. Um, it's top quality. Um, all the fears I had about this beer becoming too sweet and too rich just haven't happened. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. It's a cracker. It's a cracker. Really grew on me as I went along there. And uh, as I started realizing, uh, it's not gonna to become too rich. I don't, although I don't think it's something I would session on. I mean, it's 6.3% as well. I think this is a little treat, maybe a special occasion. It's that sort of beer for me. One to probably drink a bit slower than I did and sort of cherish the different flavors and that. But, um, you know, I'm not here to rang about. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this review and uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more from me. And if you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. And then until next one, bye-bye, darlings.